guys. Uh, part 7, time to do more work with the post. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, get a post by his ID. Uh, don't, don't worry, we're gonna do other stuff too. Uh, because get by ID, it's really easy. So what we're gonna do first is... So we're gonna create a controller in the route. We're gonna add a library called HTTP status. I really like this library. It just makes your status more verbose. I mean, sometimes I get a point where I don't maybe remember all the status and I need to go find them on the web. So this library just make it easy for you. I'm gonna show you what it's populate and we're gonna populate the user of the post. And I'm gonna show you the difference between the method I put on my user, the two JSON versus the two JSON. Time to jump on the code right now. So don't forget to start your both um, uh, service. So the first one, it's a webpack. The second one, it's your uh, known one. After that, jump on other terminal and uh, do yarn add HTTP status. So this is a small library, a really small library. The only thing we need to do for this thing, it's we're gonna jump on the user controller. We're gonna jump at the top, shift command, enter. I can create a line at the top and I'm gonna do import HTTP status from HTTP status. Now I can just change my status like this by doing, so that was create, so HTTP status that create, that's it. So it's just much more easy, I think, to read. Here I'm gonna change the 500 to be a 400, so this is bad request, so HTTP status that bad request, like that. You don't need to do this if you don't want, but for me, I, I love it. So here the 200, that's gonna be okay. That's it, nothing more to do. So I'm gonna again import this uh, line because now I'm gonna jump on my controller of my post. I'm gonna go at the top. I'm gonna import. I'm gonna copy paste the HTTP status and I'm gonna change it to one to be dot create. And 400 to be dot bad request. That's it. So now we are ready to go. So we're gonna just look if something break. No, we are good to go. Perfect. So now we're gonna create the function the controller for getting the uh, post by ID. So we're gonna create it right there. So we'll get post by ID with a request and a response. We're gonna have a try catch again. Again, we're gonna ro uh, work with the uh, catch first. So I'm gonna just copy paste my line 10 and I'm gonna jump back here, copy paste that. Perfect. Here, what I'm gonna do is gonna be really simple. We're gonna do cons post. So the post we're gonna get, we're gonna wait for that. And that's gonna be post that find by ID because find by ID, again, it's a premises. Here, I'm gonna get the ID by doing react.params.id. Why do this params coming in? We're gonna see in 20 sec. Here, I'm gonna do return that res.status, HTTP status that, okay. Yeah, I think that's a good number for that. And JSON, we're gonna send the post, that's it. I'm gonna go to post.route, I'm gonna do route.get, and now this is where my Params came. When you add this column right there, now ID become as a param. So this column here, it's your params object. You're gonna see why in one moment. So now I'm gonna put column here and I'm gonna do post controller that get post by ID. Get post by ID. That's it. Now I can call my post. So what I'm gonna do for get my ID, I'm gonna jump to my collection post. So I'm gonna just close every other thing. Like that. So this is my post. I'm gonna open that. I'm gonna uh, open my uh, post here, and I'm gonna do click right, copy value. I'm gonna after that that jump on postman. I'm gonna paste the value right there inside my get. I'm gonna paste that. I'm gonna remove uh, the thing here who is not the ID, so the object ID and the code etc. And now I can send that. And now this is what I got. I got everything. Uh, now, as you can see, uh, we get everything. This is not what we want. So that's why we're gonna jump back in the code and we're gonna make use of the two JSON method as you we made inside the uh, user. So inside the post model, I'm gonna go to the method right there and I'm gonna create here the two JSON methods. Here, that's gonna be really simple. We're gonna finally just return a new object and we're gonna need, here we need to ask what we need. Because here, if we see, we get the ID, I want that. I don't want the update ad, I don't need that. I'm gonna need a create ad, because I want to show in the front end uh, when this post has been created. 
I want the slug because I'm going to use it in the front end. I need the title because, I mean, it's the title. I'm going to need the text. And then I'm going to need the user. You're going to see why in one moment. And I want the favorite control. So finally, I just want to remove the version and the update app. So if we go back, I'm going to go right there. And I'm going to do this, that ID, because it's the ID. I'm going to need the title. So this, that title. I want the text. This, that text. I want the create app. This, that create app. I want the slug, there's that slug. I want the user, there's that user. And I want the favorite con, there's that favorite con. That's it. So now I'm gonna do a test. Go to Postman and send again. Boom, ID, title, text, create app, slug, user, favorite con. That's it, this is what we want. Perfect, the two JSON is working. Now, you know, a new SQL database, it's not made for make relationship easy like a SQL database. But what I really like about MongoDB and Mongoose with that, is they add a really easy way to, I mean, an easy way for a new SQL database to add some kind of relationship. And uh, that's become here with the user and the schema type object ID. So here, if we see in the postman, we have the user. But I am maybe gonna want to have the username in the front end because I want to show like maybe it's uh, like example, Equimper have created this blog post. You, you don't gonna say uh, user 591, etc. I've created that. So time to jump on Visual Studio Code. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on the controller, post that controller, and here in find by ID, I'm gonna add dot populate, print SC, and I'm gonna put user. Where come the user? It came right here. So if I change that to be maybe author, that's gonna, I'm gonna need to do author here. So now if I come back to Postman and I send again, look what's gonna happen. Hmm, that's work. This is what we want. We get the idea of the user, the username and the token. But what happening here? I mean, why do I get a token? I don't want to get the token. That would be uh, really crazy. I, like, I mean, I can do whatever I want after that with the user token in the front end. So here, what happened, it's, this is what I really like about um, uh, Mongoose. It's, the two JSON work also when you populate. So if you remember in the user, user that model, the, uh, when we do two JSON right there, we return the ID, username, and token. So this is what happened right there, ID, username, and token. So now how can I make it work? So I have a, a good tip for you. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a, another function here to out JSON like that. I'm gonna copy paste this line because I want that to my toe out JSON. And now I'm gonna replace the two JSON to only return username ID. So now I'm gonna save. I'm gonna go to Postman and now I'm gonna send. Boom, this is what we want. I get the user with his ID and his username. Perfect, this is what I want in the front end. But now, if I go and log, user login, I'm going to log. Hmm, now I get ID and username. This is not what we want. Here, we want the token. So that's why I create the method to out JSON. Just copy paste this name here to make sure you don't make some typo. Go inside the user controller. And now, the only thing we need to do is if we place A where we do the sign up and the login, I'm going to add right there. So here, I'm going to click here. And I'm going to click on my, uh, for Mac, it's option. For uh, Windows, I think it's control. I can click here. So I can do both in the same time. So I'm going to just add dot. I'm going to paste with uh, control V or command V. And put print SC. So now if I save and I go back to Postman, now I can send for my login. Now I get my token back because now I call the two out JSON. And now if I go back to my get by ID, Everything's still working. You see all this method make your life so much easy. And now this is what I really like about that. Because if we made the populate without the two JSON, as I show you, you're gonna need to select which field you want on every kind of populate. Now with this method, all your nested populate stuff, whatever you want, 
you're never going to send the password of the user in nothing. So the 2JSON method of the user here just remove you so much code and just dry up your code. Yes, okay, I understand. This is what happened too in the post model. We need to again code this stuff. But the thing is, think about how much pain that removed for you after that. Because after that, if I want to remove the create app from everywhere where I get the post, I just delete at this place. Yes, I do this six line of code here, seven, but that's gonna change your way of coding. Trust me on that. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know all that go in the comments. Uh, let me know if you like the these tips. I mean, uh, the two JSON and the two out JSON, uh, and if you learn a bit with the popular. Uh, next one, we're gonna jump on the get all, and I'm gonna show you a way to do a get all with the list and the query to make you. Uh, much more easy to work with some kind of pagination or something like that. So uh, I hope you enjoy. Click the like button, please, if you think that, that was a good one. And we talk later. Have a good day. Bye.